All right. My daughter's boyfriend is a loser. Oh, boy. Dear Billy the Kid, first I want to say that I love the first two episodes of F is for Family, and I can't wait. Oh, the first two seasons, sorry. And I can't wait for season three. Thank you. I don't like my daughter's boyfriend. I like how this guy gets right to it. And I want to make her break up with him. Let me tell you about my girl. She is 28 years old. She has a great job. She's living in an apartment with this guy. The problem is, is that she pays for everything because he's, air quote, between jobs. And also sometimes she calls me to fix some stuff for her. And when I get there, I find this ass just playing video games or watching a movie. Oh, my God. He doesn't even put on a show for when his, the father of his girlfriend shows up. Yeah, this guy's a bum. He doesn't do shit. I really don't understand why she's still with him. My greatest fear is if she marries if she marries that guy. Can you please give me your opinion as a father? Oh, my God. Dude, I'm brand new to this. You're like a grizzled vet with a 28-year-old. I got an 11-month-old. I'm going to give you advice. Can you please give me your opinion as a father on how to deal with this problem? Should I tell her to break up with him or should I just keep my mouth shut? And I would also love to hear what the lovely Nia has to say about that situ- about my situation. Thank you and keep up the good work. Well, unfortunately, she's a little pissed at me right now, so uh, I only got one more question here. Um, I, I think I probably would have given him shit when I went over there. I would have just been like, "Really? You're just going to sit there playing video games while the father of your girlfriend comes over?" To this apartment where she's paying for everything and you don't even have a job. You're just going to sit there and play video games. Who raised you? I probably, you know, now I'm not the smartest guy and I also fly off the handle a lot. Uh, I would have said something along those lines. And then if he mentioned it to her, I just say, listen, I probably shouldn't have said that. I love you. I want the best for you. And you know, it it just, as your dad, it bothers me that you're paying for everything and that I came over to the fix stuff and this guy couldn't even stop playing video games. Um, you know, something, don't say anything then because then you look like the asshole. That's, that was bad advice. All right, swing and a miss, strike one. I would say that to her. Just say, listen, I'm just going to say this, and just say this, I'm just going to say this one time. I have to get this off my chest as your dad because I love you and I want the best for you. Okay, I understand that the person you're with right now is between jobs and really try to fight the urge to do the giant air quotes between jobs and just say, listen, okay, I understand that, you know, people have ups and downs in life, but it was just kind of a red flag to me that I went over to your apartment where you're paying everything where there's a man there. All right. And he sees the father of the woman that he's dating come walking in to fix something that he's not fixing. He didn't even help me. He continued to play video games. I'm just saying I'm a little concerned about the overall drive of the man in your life. And as men, we can't give you children. All right? What we do is provide. Okay? So, uh... He just looked like a giant 12-year-old to me. Don't say that last part, but just say, I'm just a little concerned. Are you, do you share those concerns? And if she says no, just say, fair enough, maybe I caught him on a bad day. But just as your father, I felt like I had to say something. If you're okay with him, then I'm okay with him. And then you're, then you're good, because now you put it out there. All right? But if you come at her and you're just saying, listen, you need to dump this guy. This guy's a bum because I said so. Then she's going to get her back up and be, you know, and it'll become actually more romantic to her that she's, you know, it's us against the world, baby. Did you hear what I said? The kids can be like, well, oh, sorry, it's trying to get to level seven. Um, that's the way I would handle it. And then after that, you just got to wash your. F- oh, God, that's difficult. You got to wash your hands of it. Um, I don't know if I could do that. I, I mean, I would just start, uh, at some point, if she stayed with him, I would just start openly teasing him. Hey, what do you say there, 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 couch face? Huh? Whatever his name's Mike. Hey, Mikey, what, what's, what's your favorite couch to sit on when you're not looking for a job? <laughs> you 
You know? Hey, Mike, what's, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite movie? No, let me guess. Peter Pan, right? Where you get to be 12 years old for the rest of your fucking life? Um, that's what I would just, I would roast him. I would roast him. You're so progressive, you know? Hey, Mike, what do you want, what do you want, for, uh, what do you want for Christmas? You want an apron? Oh, that's right. You don't even cook. How about one of those inflatable uh, donut things that truckers wear when they sit on their ass all day getting hemorrhoids? Uh, you want a stand-up desk to play your video games on? I would just, I, yeah, maybe do that. I would just start roasting him. <laughs>